More news, though. <laughs> so we've got... this. Is, I really like this film, actually. District 9 came out in... Must have been, like, 2009 or something. I think it's a really good film. It's a, it's directed by um, Neil Blomkamp, who I think he is South African. And they're all yeah. set in South Africa. It's this weird yeah. trilogy of District 9, Chappie, and Elysium. Elysium's not great. Chappie, you didn't mind, Rory. You don't, you don't mind it, do you? I liked it because I kind of accepted the absurdity of it, I think. I think uh, District 9 was a bit more of like a commentary. I think Chappie was a bit of like an exploration into technology on a very weird level yeah. um, with lots of like jokiness around it. And yeah, Elysium, I think, was like a middle tier action film. Yeah, Elysium completely missed them. I respect what he was trying to do, but he didn't really go anywhere, did it? But District 9, I will still say now, is a very worthwhile film for a watch. I can't remember if it's mine or yours, but we've got reviews for both of those. I don't think we've got a review for Elysium, but uh, we've got... Oh, it was was me for both of them. They're available on our Instagram, at Save the Stub. Go check them out. Have a look, plug. What's the overall kind of like plot or ideas behind (laughs) that that series of films? District 9 is essentially an alien ship semi crash lands in the middle of Johannesburg and but they aren't like super advanced aliens they're literally like they're essentially impoverished and starving so they move into slums outside Johannesburg so they essentially rub shoulders with average humans however they are obviously discriminated against because they are uh, aliens they call them prawns in the in the film and it's a it's a semi documentary style about sort of the government force sent to deal with the aliens um, essentially mass moving them across country to get them away from Johannesburg. But it's actually a really good film. And Charlotte Copley, who's in all three of these films, he's like Neil Blomkamp's little go-to bloke, is actually really good in it. It's like, it is it, it's genuinely a film I would happily watch. But essentially what we're trying to get to is that District 10, a sequel, is being written. And this is weird because it's no spoiler to say District 9 ends on a cliffhanger ending. But it's almost one where you are left to think what you think. It's not one that I felt personally needed a follow-up film. Although when it came out, I was of the opinion I did want to follow up. I think over time I've realised that it wasn't necessarily what I was looking for. I think it was the kind of ending where, yeah, there's kind of uncertainty around it, but everyone in the film has come to terms with that. Like, it's kind of one of those endings where the characters... The characters don't end on the same note, but you're kind of like that's really sad but that's how it has to be like that's just what happened in the film so it's weird that District 10 is being written although you know I like the universe enough that I would watch it again uh, not watch it again sorry watch the sequel do I think it's going to be any good though Mm, not massive like if it's really going to do if it's going to be the exact same characters and plot as a follow on I think that's bad I don't think there's any reason for it to be done however if it's almost just another story in that universe so to speak that could be something I'd be really interested in because it actually is an interesting premise that's my issue is that I think what I really liked from Neil Blomkamp was the fact that he took this kind of universe I don't think they're necessarily the same universe but you get the feel they have this very similar vibe and like yeah environment Um, he took that universe and he made three completely separate stories and put them into that universe and I think they're not sequels but like you said they feel like they're all connected and I think creating a sequel where you're basically milking a plot that you wrote ten years ago I don't see it ending that well um, it could be great but I think the beauty of it is that you've got these individual unique stories where you're not reaching for narrative you're not reaching for new things to happen yeah totally agree so I mean overall District 9 good but District 10 Neil put down the pen it's not worth your time 